In this lesson, you will learn about repeating patterns. So here we have some patterns, okay? We have to look at the pattern and decide what is the pattern. Well, I see a red, then a yellow, then a red, then a yellow, then a red, then a, hmm, what do I want to put there? So I'm looking at the pattern. It looks like every time there's a red, the next one is yellow, and after yellow is red. So if I complete that, if I continue that pattern, the next one after red should be another yellow. And then after yellow would be red. And I can continue that pattern. Yellow, red, and so on and so forth. We could keep going with that pattern. Okay, so that's one pattern. Here's another pattern. Looks like four pink, eight green, yellow, uh, four yellow. And then it goes again. Four pink, eight green, four yellow. And it's almost like I could kind of smush this together. Okay, this yellow, green, sorry, pink, green, yellow, pink, green, yellow. So I want to continue that and I'm going to do those same shapes. So I'm, the next one would be the pink. Then after pink comes green and after the green comes the yellow. And I can continue that again as, as long as I had the, the parts to do so. When we do this, we call these different types of patterns. This is like an A, B pattern. If red is A, yellow is B. Red is A, yellow is B. Red is A, yellow is B, and so on and so forth. So that's an A, B pattern. Two things repeat, the first and then the second. This one is called an A, B, C pattern because there are three parts. Then A comes next, then B, then C, and so on, A, B, C. And we could continue that, A, B, C, where A would be the pink, B would be the green, and C would be the yellow. And that's the end of our lesson on repeating patterns.